Um, she's coming up on the house right now. So hopefully she'll stop and not crash. Okay, cool. She stopped. <laughs> this is so scary. But it's all good. Raising them. Nice knowing you. Yeah, but it's too much of a burden on us because aquatic turtles are very messy. Very, very messy. So I think, yeah, turn in here. So we're going to take them to <clears throat> a park called Garcia Bend right and, um, oh, excuse me. Garcia Bend, and it's right off the river. So we're going to put them in the river. And there's, there's like, and they're red-eared sliders, we'll show you. They're red-eared sliders, and that's... They're native to the area, so yeah, it's not like we're introducing them to a... To something random, like, the, this is their habitat, because you see them everywhere. And, um, Shoot, uh, one of them came from uh, yeah, <laughs> the creek. One of them was, was uh, wild, so... I'm not going to pay the damn toll. No. Not for no five damn minutes. No. No one's gonna. I should park in a uh, in a boat. No space. This is also where we launched the boat, <clears throat> and where I almost sunk the boat mm. last summer. But we ain't gonna talk about that. We got us some Jamba Juice for breakfast because, well, it's almost two o'clock, but it's still breakfast time to me. Um, I wasn't oh. even hungry, but then once I started eating it, it's like... Yeah, you I need to eat something. Oh, this is good. Yeah. I don't know. I Even though I, I wasn't hungry, I was like, it's not good to go without eating. Like, you need to eat something. So, Hector got the mango a go go and I got the um, Aloha pineapple. So, that's pretty good. But we're going <clears> to <throat> let these guys go so we can continue on with our day. So, oh, that's just a boat launch fee. We ain't even launching. Yeah, we're not launching the boat. We're just going to the. Yeah, here they go. Set these motherfuckers free. Y'all need to go live. Make a make a name for yourself. Think they'll be friends still? Think they'll kick it? I don't know. <laughs> kick it on a log. They'd probably be like, you know what? I'm tired of you. It's um, time to s go our separate ways. So go our separate ways, bruh. We could ride our bikes down there. Mm -hmm. This is a river. What people be doing on the vlogs. You see it? They be going through all like all the clothes. Look stuff. how high the water is. Like that's hella current. I don't like driving the boat. And there's hella current. There's hella people out here, huh? Mm -hmm. It's like a decent nice, day. Nice day to walk. Let me walk on this side. Yeah, so it's not fair to keep him in the tank, so. And one of them we actually got from the creek by our house, so he was already kind of. A ninja turtle. <laughs> that was their names. One's is uh, Raphael, the other's Michelangelo. Put them in the water. They're going to go in the water, and that's going to be their new home. <laughs> oh, there he goes. <laughs> he went, he went under. under. The or the oh, under the top. Mm hmm. <laughs> Say bye, turtles. <laughs> hopefully, they stick together. Oh, I know. That's what I'll say. Homies for life, hopefully. <laughs> Maybe they will. Oh, man, they're new home. We just let the turtles go and um, this guy and his were, kids, uh, uh, he was he was watching, he was like, can I, can my kids look? And we're like, yeah, sure. So we all wished him a, yeah. Uh, and farewell. 
thought they were gonna like swim off into the distance and they just went right under the damn ramp and like that was it. <laughs> oh, but yeah, hopefully they have more room, you know what I mean? Like they have the whole ocean, the ocean. they have the whole river. Eventually, I mean the river leads to the ocean. It's it does, the but they're fresh up. water. They're not gonna go down there. Um, but I some more. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're they're gonna stay where their food is, like their food supply. There's enough here. I don't think they need to go with there. But um, move out the way. But yeah, we let them go. It was only rightfully so that we. Do yeah, they were so. all growing their tank, and it's like a lot of, a lot of upkeep. Yeah, I mean, especially if you want them to have a clean, healthy environment. You gotta really, like, be dedicated to the turtle life, and we just weren't there. I mean, we were, but not, we don't want to, like... When they're little, but when they start growing to a certain point, it's like they need a real habitat. To, like, grow. And then, um, Hector said, once we're done with this last... Gloves don't fit. Yeah, I got them. They were size large, and that's what I usually wear in gloves. And the other larges I tried on fit cool. And then I wanted the red ones, and I tried them on them. They felt a little snug, but I just thought it was because it had that um, ink like security feature on it. But now they're a little too tight, so I'm gonna go exchange them. Had just taken his gloves back because they don't fit, basically. basically. Mm -hmm. And uh, what size are they? orange but the other size large that i tried on fit good but they're black these were like the only red ones and i like red because uh my other blue my other, other what? gloves were red gotcha so hopefully you find some red gloves that fit yeah if not i'll just get some all black ones it's all good yeah i got purple gloves i did get gloves in my helmet i can't wait to get my helmet on Tuesday. Mm-hmm. Tuesday. Who was that? Oh, the uh, the steering thing's been like messing up. It's like, oh, well, they so, usually uh. Hector got black ones. They actually feel nice. We're at uh, what's this? I don't even know what this place is called. Gordon Beer. Locally. Look how. Busy that is. I got the golden export and what'd you get? The uh, sessions IPA. Um, it's pretty good. I never tried it. I'm gonna try it. At uh, Roseville Galleria Mall. And we're about to do a little bit of shopping because summer or spring and summer is coming and we have no clothes. We have like pants, all the pants in the world and I just got I got like two shirts. I don't wear any of my clothes with it. I don't have any shirts, it's so annoying. Smooth rail. So it comes in a little little protector thingy. Hopefully they sent me the right color. Um, because it don't look like it if you really wanna know. Okay, that was a close one. So I was <laughs> opening it and it was like this. And I was like, okay, they sent me black. I'm pissed. But yeah, it's high vis like I ordered. And um, yeah, I'm going to try to get this out with one hand. Let me see. It looks like really, really bright on camera. However, it is not that bright in person. All right, I'm going to try it on. So, yeah, um, I was filming and the camera was on, like, extra zoom. So, now, I hope you can hear me. Um, yeah, it fits and all. I like it. Um, the padding is, like, super, super firm right now. You know, I have to break it in. So, um, I can barely even, like, make a facial expression. Uh, but I like it. It fits. It doesn't go back and forth, like, wiggling and it's not loose. So... I would definitely give um, riders discount on eBay. I'll get the proper um, the proper info and put it in the description box in this video. Although this isn't just all about bikes, 
in this video. Um, but yeah, I am going to meet up with Hector and take the bikes out on a ride. So we'll see how that goes. It'll be my first time on uh, the dirt bike that he's bought, so hot for me. So this is a G-Max helmet. And the box looks like this. And yeah, real is like all in my grill. Stop real. Stop real. No real. All right, so I gotta go. So this is my DR350. I'm sure you guys have seen it many, many times. But uh, this vlog isn't about my DR350. It's about Kelly's TTR225. Helmet just came in today. She's real excited to ride it. I've been giving her some pointers. What are you talking about? Letting the bike warm up. Sounds like a sounds like a two-stroke. But it's a foe. Alright, so my baby took off. She kind of smashed off and scared the shit out of me. My heart dropped. I thought she was going to wreck, but it looked like she's getting the hang of it. Um, yeah, because she, you know, gave it a little too much throttle, so it just started to hella smashing. But she didn't crash. She stayed on. Now it looks like she's getting the hang of it. She's all the way down the street. I don't think she knows how to turn yet. So... Yeah, I, I think she did pretty good. She had her feet down for a little bit and she brought her feet up and then um, she was riding it so that's good you could hear her, she was starting to like rev out because she's staying in first because you know she don't know how to shift yet so now she's backing up traffic that's her down there See if she can make it uh make it back. Hopefully she don't start to get too cocky and then try to smash. So she'll probably go again after this car. How was that? How'd you feel? Good. My baby getting the hang of it? <laughs> I hella scared you though. That first time, but yeah, it looks like you're getting you had your feet up. When uh how'd you stop? You just I just put pulled the clutch in and then hit this and all all three. Uh -huh. Yeah, so it's a neutral. So you're gonna start it back up and ride to the house? Yeah, I'm in I'm in neutral right now, so what just start the bike? Mm-hmm. And the same thing, just whenever you're ready to go, just pull the clutch in, kick it down to first, and then you're good to go again. Don't get too cocky now. No, I won't. All right. I'll, uh, I'll go to the house and then if you see me like flail then that means that there's a car coming all right <laughs> it's a little like maxing out at first but that's all good she'll she'll soon soon she'll be smashing just like I was hey she didn't even stall out I stalled out like three times when I first uh, tried to ride my bike so that's pretty good um, she's coming up on the house right now So hopefully she'll stop and not crash. Okay, cool. She stopped. <laughs> this is so scary. But it's all good. We start her up. I don't have to hold the clutch anymore. I don't think it has the clutch safety because mine does. It only they cut they could have disabled it. Okay. Right. Pull the clutch in. Kick it down the first. Hold on. Car! Why are you looking at me like that? Okay. Alright, that's good. Slowly. Throttle slowly.
up? Like, I don't know. Just give it a little bit of throttle. And then you'll feel it like, if you slowly let go of the clutch, you'll feel it like go forward. That's why I held the brake. And then just give it a little bit of gas. Like barely anything. Nah, it's too much. You don't even really want to hear it. So proud of my baby. She about to be ripping it up in the before you even know it. Showing pretty decent throttle control. She's not like lurching or jerking. She's kind of steady going. So she seems to be doing pretty good. She knows how to brake, which is an important thing. Did you turn? Aww. Oh. Yeah, you gotta like feel it going to neutral. And then if you're ever like, another super easy way, just like kill the engine. Yeah. Like with the engine kill switch. How you feel? Is it fun? Mm -hmm. You like it? You ready to do some jumps? Not yet. <laughs> you think we can eat all this? Mm -hmm. That's a lot of food. We ate most of it though. <laughs> What's your fortune say? I learned my going where I have to go. <laughs> fortune. <laughs> How, what did the other one say? I think you should lay low for a while. Like, yeah, it's <laughs> something hella gangster. <laughs> Let me see what mine is. Mm -hmm. What does it say? I would rather attempt something great and fail than to attempt, than to attempt nothing and succeed. So it was better to try and fail than ever try at all, basically. Yeah, I would rather attempt something great and fail than attempt to do nothing and succeed. Because you're going to succeed doing nothing. If you do nothing.